how far in the future can we look into to get a glimpse of what the world of smartphone has to offer. While big players such as Samsung, LG are trying to push the limits of our expectations by bringing the curved displays, bendable displays and whatnot. There are some other companies that had shown some potential in bringing out our fanciful wishes to life and it does not look much far. So guys, in this video, I am going to talk about the features that probably the future phones will offer. Now let's get right into it. Starting off with 4K experience, we all love to look at high resolution screens, don't we? 2014 was full of it, with major companies such as Samsung, LG displaying their ultra high resolution TVs, pushing the limits of display resolutions. It's 2015 now and they came up with something called quantum dots, which enhances the picture quality, color reproduction and so on, making things pretty interesting in the display department of the smartphone market as well. Back in 2014, Qualcomm released their powerful Snapdragon 805 processor in the steps towards 4K mobile experience. With 805 processor, 4K streaming was possible with its H.265 video streaming capabilities. However, at that time, LG G3 with its Quad HD display had yet to arrive before moving directly to 4K resolution. Recently, they released the next iteration of their flagship processor, which is the Snapdragon 810, and it looks promising. 810 processor, which is marketed by Qualcomm as the ultimate connected computing processor, features a 64-bit architecture, 8 CPU cores, and better graphics rendering. You can now wirelessly stream 4K videos directly to an external device, which is made possible by HEVC, that is High Efficiency Video Codec, a video compression technology. Apart from displaying and streaming 4K content, the processor packs enough power for 3D gaming experience and a whole new technology called Fluence Pro. As advertised, this technology will help to collect sound from selected areas, eliminating all the background noises, taking the audio experience to a whole new level. LG G Flex 2 was the first device to house A10 processor, but we still have to wait from other manufacturers what they would bring out of it. It won't be wrong to assume that we will be having a 4K mobile device by the end of 2015 or early 2016. With that being said, recently Sharp announced an insane 5.5 inch 4K display with a pixel density of 806 ppi. So this is the first step and sooner we will have other manufacturers hopping into it. Next is the transparent phone. We all have seen technology getting inspired from sci-fi movies. Tony Stark's transparent phone in Iron Man 2 is one of such kind. In the past, although not a full transparent phone, there has been few attempts for see-through screens. For example, Sony Ericsson's Xperia Pureness was one of them, featuring a 1.8-inch monochrome see-through display back in 2010. In 2013, Taiwanese company named Polytron showcased a prototype that was almost entirely transparent with battery and memory card still visible. The prototype used poor contrast OLED display which according to the OLED designer Jan Hess is one of the reasons that big companies are struggling to develop an energy efficient transparent panel onto their products. However, according to the Wall Street Journal, Samsung registered a patent in Korea for a digital camera with a transparent display that allows the person taking the photo and the subject of the photo shoot to look at each other and have direct eye contact for photo shooting. We have seen Samsung bringing crazy products in the past and with the patent we hope to see transparent phones in the near future. Third is the foldable smartphone. The future of mobile devices has a lot to offer than simply cramming a full-fledged computer into our pocket. Samsung and LG showcased their bent and curved displays which along with a unique design also added some functionalities to their product. The next innovative step towards mobile is foldable smartphone. And by foldable smartphones, we mean phones that can be bent, twisted and even print 3D objects at instance. This insane concept came out from Professor Royal of Queen's University. The foldable smartphone prototype which is named Paperfold consists of three flexible monochrome e-paper screens that can be folded when needed and tucked away when done. Furthermore, the displays are detachable such that users can fold the device into various shapes that can range from an ultra notebook to a fold-out map. It automatically recognizes its shape and changes its graphics to provide different functionality upon the changes done. One of the most impressive features with Paperfold was the ability to print 3D sculpture. The main reason that these devices are not yet ready to appear in the market is because of difficulty in manufacturing internal components like flexible batteries, processor and so on. 
With companies such as LZ already working on batteries that can be bent, it won't be wrong to assume paper fold in becoming a reality in near future. Next one on the list promises to bring our most fanciful wish that is holograms and the battery life. We all have desired to have a device that could project holograms, similar to what we have seen in movies like Star Wars, Iron Man and so on. Fortunately, a company named Oestento Technologies has been working for the past 9 years to bring holograms projection onto our mobile devices. They have developed a miniature sized projector that could project about 48 inches long holograms which seems awesome even to imagine. The projector is powered by a chip that helps to control its color, brightness and angle of each beam. Even more interesting part is that the components would add just around $30 to the price of the smartphone or the watch. According to Android Authority, the first generation of this technology would project only 2D images and videos. And on the next phase, the company would release the 3D version of it for a full holographic experience. We just have to wait until the company shrinks down the necessary components to fit the mobile size. We will totally be living in our future if this is made possible. We have also seen a lot of ARs and VRs. In fact, Microsoft just did it with their HoloLens. We just have to wait and see how it performs in reality. If everything goes well, we can soon expect this technology on smartphones as well. As far as battery is concerned, a lot of research and development is going on it. Research of Stanford University have created an aluminium-based battery replacing the traditional lithium-ion, which could extend the battery life up to 7 times. This new battery can be bended and folded without any damage, meaning mobile manufacturers could integrate them in many ways to bring the most out of it. Similarly, a company named Solid Energy has made some effort in the battery life by replacing the thick graphite anode in Li-ion batteries with super thin lithium copper metal foil. This small change will help to double the battery life, so all this research and development will definitely aid to a better battery performance. Another interesting factor about these batteries is that it charges in less than a minute, which is amazing. The last but not the least is the Google's Project Ara. Unless you are living under the rock, you must have heard about Google's Project Ara. It all began when Dave Hackens released a concept video called Phone Blocks back in 2013. With Project Ara, you can customize basically every aspect of your smartphone. The platform will include a structural frame that will hold your smartphone module of your choice, such as display, keyboard or an extra battery. It would allow users to swap out malfunctioning module or upgrade individual module according to user's preference. Initially, there will be two frame sizes, one close to the size of Nokia 3310 and other about the size of Nexus 5. As this project is backed up by Google, it is by far the most promising device to arrive in the near future. So guys, this was a quick informative video on futuristic smartphones. Hope you found this video useful. I will be coming up with similar contents in the near future. So stay tuned for that and till then you guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.